What's going on guys? Welcome back to Surviving in Alabama. Just doing a quick update. Just a what's new. So let me turn you around and show you what I got today. So I got this old bathtub. It's a heavy metal bathtub. Uh, it's not like super antique or anything like that, but it's for real metal and it's really heavy. And uh, so that's what I got today. And um, it's gonna be a worm bed. And so uh, I should start raising worms as early as probably before I leave on my trip next week. Uh, FYI, everybody, I'm going to a reunion at the Middle East. Well, I'll turn you around. Next Thursday, I'll be leaving and I'll be going on a trip. I'm going up to Illinois to the Middle Eastern Conflicts Wall and uh, I'm going to a reunion of, uh, with uh, people that was in my battalion when I was in the Army. And so we have, we know people that are no longer with us written on that wall. Cause all the names for, from Afghanistan and Iraq, uh, all the names of the dead are on this wall and it's a big wall. It's really big. And so anyway, so we're going up there. They're having a gold star, uh, family, um, ceremony and my old battalion commander is going to be the key speaker. And so we're going to have a reunion there. Anyway, that's happening for next week. And I was just telling you this while I was walking around, gonna show you what's going on new around here. <laughs> Let me show you this. So this rabbit, she is gonna give birth probably tomorrow or the next few days. And so I had to get her a nesting box. So what do y'all think about this? Just a, I just cut it out, put some straw in it. I actually think it's gonna work really well. If y'all have watched for any length of time, <laughs> y'all know I like free stuff. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm, I've, I'm getting worms again. Uh, I've done worms before in the past, but it's been a long time. And uh, hey, I'm excited about the worms. I went and checked out my fishing spot earlier today. And uh, I'm thinking to, I get these these worms just so I so I can go fishing and and, I, and also it has a drain at the bottom of it and I'll probably try some of that Vermeer compost tea uh, by uh, letting the water run through it and out into a bucket. It works. Vermeer compost is a real is a, a good thing. So that being said, let me show you what else is new. I got my bush hog back today. It's been down there at my mother-in-law's house for like, I don't know, probably a year and a half. It's been a while, but I have got, I have got some bush hogging around here I've got to do. And I want to, I've got a power line that runs through my property and it's starting to get growed up. So I want to cut all that down because I'm going to plant it up for the deer this year. So I'm excited about getting the bush hog back for, just for that. I don't normally have to do a lot of bush hogging around here. What cutting that I do, I generally just handle it with the lawnmower. Not a problem. So uh, let me spin you around. I'll show you what else we got new. Uh, by the way, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button, please. I'm doing all kinds of stuff around here. Uh, like it, share it, subscribe it. Let's keep showing you. So I, I have a bunch of pallets. And so I was watching Mayhem Country Living. If y'all don't know him, go check out his channel. That's Mayhem Country Living. I saw, and I've never seen this before. So if you haven't seen my video from uh, that I posted this morning that I shot last night, uh, my tomatoes, are, they're, they, they're looking all right. They look real good. Got a couple of hornworms off last night. So go check that out. All right, let me show you what else is new around here. So uh, as I was saying before, I saw this on Mayhem and he put these pallets down and then made like these miniature or shallow looking raised beds out of pallets. And I'm like, that's genius. Why didn't I think of that? You know, I didn't have to do nothing. I didn't have to build anything. And so that's what I got. And hopefully I won't have too many, hopefully I can cover this up enough where I don't have too much, too many weeds. But so I, I took the bucket and I, and I put some compost around here. And so I've got to uh, sift it or push it down in the holes. And then so the 
I turned the pallets upside down so the so the part between the boards, see between the boards, that's where I'm gonna plant. So it's kind of like square foot gardening a little bit. So this is what it's looking like. It's coming on along and uh, those uh, Ro Rosanna or whatever, the Romanzo, I can't remember what the name of those tomatoes are. Uh, when they're ready, they're in the seed trays now. When they're ready, that I'm, they're gonna go back here. That's where it's gonna go. And I planted a whole 36 cell uh seed tray out of them so it's i got several so hopefully i can get them for the frost i know it will i'm not even worried about it but but um anyway i just have to keep them watered so i do realize i have to weed but i have been babying these peas and they seem to be coming back and to me it looks like maybe if there is a chemical in here it washed because this is going uphill like that's uphill so it washed downhill and then some of the ones on the bottom don't look as good like that row right there seemed like it washed to it and so the ones that's up top look better so i had already set in my mind i was going to plant corn between the rows and just let it go and then i started you know, just seeing them kind of, kind of perk back up a little bit. And I was like, well, I'm be patient and I waited. So we'll see, we'll see how much they make. I, I don't know. I may, I may not get anything out of them. There's a few peas on them now. We'll see. Let me show you the corn. So there's my corn. That is, I have no idea how tall this is. Please forgive the weeds, but I've got to get out here and do some weeding. But I'm six foot one and it's way above me. I would venture to say it is eight foot tall. It'd probably have to be that. So, I mean, they're so big that the, look, there's bird poop on because the birds have been roosting on them. They're so big. Just wanted to do a quick walk around show you what i'm doing new around here i'm going i've got these pallet raised beds going i'm about to I'm about to plant in them it won't be long a few days and i've got worm i've got a worm uh bathtub bed now and i'll be getting that going this week before i go on my trip uh tomatoes are looking good all the all the other raised beds are looking good i got uh, bell peppers coming on and everything's starting to shape up around here a little bit i still got to do work on the chicken pen but it's coming I think I'm gonna do something like a extreme makeover chicken coop edition. Just kicking around an idea because I'm really gonna change the face of this uh, chicken coop since I got all that lumber. But enough rambling. I know y'all got things to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and come back and see me tomorrow. God bless.